Here's the money we earned today. I'll leave it in your hands. We could do with some new gear. After that, you should take a look around the city. I'll see you out there later. South of the castle spread Lazulus City, hub of culture and trade. Naturally, it drew all manner of visitors from across the empire. Sailors, merchants, traveling entertainers and knights errant, and of course, mercenaries. All were drawn to the city by the lure of fame and fortune. Yet only a lucky few would ever taste the success they longed for. I don't believe we've met. Would you be a traveler, perhaps? Then you've made the right choice visiting my shop. Please, come right in. And today is your lucky day. You just so happen to be my 1,000th customer. <laughs> ah, what a wonderful moment. Oh, to think that this day has finally arrived. To celebrate this occasion, I would like to offer you a one-time-only, free weapon or equipment upgrade. What shall I upgrade? to Artisan's Way to purchase local goods. They're a great investment. Merchants like me come to Lazulus Island to buy local products to sell elsewhere. Even without leaving the island, you can make a tidy profit if you play the market. Trade is what makes the world go round. It's the only way to make your fortune. Just watch out for market trends and sell your stock quick when prices are high.
There you are, Zael. Huh? Oh, it's just you, Dagrun. You surprised me there. I would have settled for a simple hello. Well, you shouldn't sneak up on me like that. Did you want something? Yeah. I hear a company of knights is visiting the city. I thought you might want to take a look. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know how you find these things out so quickly. I have my ways. Anyway, I thought you might be interested. <laughs> Guess I'll see you there. Wait, Dagrun! Why do you always have to run off like that? Dagrun! Wow, so that's the legendary general. He's never been defeated, pride of the Empire. There's some big names arriving. I tell you, this wedding is going to be one to tell the grandkids. The knights look so heroic and majestic. I'll be a knight too one day, no matter what it takes. Looks like it's almost sundown. I'm going back to the tavern. What about you? The mercenaries had arrived on a red letter day. A ceremony was being held to mark the engagement of Lady Callista, niece of Count Argonon, the island's ruler. Well, they call it a ceremony, but it's mostly just a big fireworks display. That's nobles for you. Full of pomp and circumstance. Oh, Zayo, did you hear about the fireworks? I heard there's a good spot to watch them, behind the church. Are you going? Me? Maybe, maybe not. I've got plans of my own. Oh? You pulled a bloke or something? Shut up, you! <laughs> Who needs fireworks when you've got a pint of the good stuff? Oh, my glass looks kind of empty. Barman! Fill me up! I'm really sorry, but we've run out of everything. I never thought you'd drink so much. Until we get some more in, we're totally dry. Right then. Zayul? Ever wanted to be a delivery boy? Sorry to put you on the spot, Zayul. But I'd be really grateful. I'm a bit tied up here at the moment. If I don't get another drink in me soon, I might cry. It's okay. I don't mind. Where do I need to go? There's a shop that sells it near Castle Gate Plaza. Thanks, Ale. You're a lifesaver. Uh. 
What are you doing inside this thing? Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. You there, mercenary. Huh. You haven't seen a girl around here, have you? Around the same age as yourself? No. You're quite sure? Yes. Looks like she's not round here after all. Yeah. Honestly, if the boss finds out about this, we're gonna be in real trouble. Yeah. Are they... looking for you? Don't worry. <gasps> They're gone now. You can come out. safe to leave. But why are you hiding? Mm, well, um... It's all right if you don't want to say. I won't cry. I'm Zael, by the way. My name's uh, Lisa, and thank you. You're an awfully nice person. Oh, no. Huh. I really can't afford to be caught. Can you help? All right. Follow me. Ow, that hurt! Honestly, don't those people ever give up? Oh yeah, the fireworks! Oh, I've loved them since I was a little girl. Pity there's no time to stop and watch. No, this is perfect. With all these people around, we might be able to lose them. Oh, right. Then let's head for the market. Hurry up, Lisa! What a wonderful smell! It looks so tasty! <laughs> You're quite the charmer, little lady. You want one, then? Oh, really? <gasps> Thank you so much. So, um, how do you eat this? Huh? Huh? What? Um... <laughs> These look lovely. I'll take this one. Hey, let's see some cash. Hmm? Cash? Do you mean money? Excuse me? <sighs> oh, dear. Here, will this do? I'm very sorry. It's just, I didn't realize that I needed money. Don't tell me you've never been to a market before. I haven't. That's why I really wanted to come. I don't want to poke my nose into your business, but I'm guessing you've run away from home, right? Hmm? Yes. Are you angry? No. I'm actually quite enjoying this. I've never met anyone like you before. You're making fun of me now, aren't you? Hmm. No. I honestly mean it. What's this now? Some kind of trouble? Let's go and see. Huh? Lisa! Wait up! Sounds like somebody's starting a fight over me. Those good for nothing soldiers are causing trouble. All right then. It, it, it's on the house. Take it. We'll be back. 
And you better have some decent grub next time. Stupid guards. People are trying to make an honest living. They think they can take everything for free just because they have a little status. <laughs> Got a problem, girly? Don't you people have any money? I was under the impression that guards received a proper wage. You should pay for what you eat. What was that? Let's hear you say that again. I see you're looking for a proper telling off. Now listen, if you're buying something, you have to pay for it with money. The seller needs that money to keep his wares fully stocked. Where would we be without rules like these? It would be chaos. So, now that you understand, I suggest you pay up. That's right, you tell him, lass. You had better mind your manners. <laughs> <laughs> You want some as well? Believe me, I won't hold back. Zale! I guess we shouldn't push our luck. Come on, Lisa, let's run for it! <gasps> We should focus on trying to get away from these soldiers. Yes. Oh! I'm sorry about back there. No problem. You did a fine thing. Watching those people act like that, I just couldn't restrain myself. Oh! Oh, no, you don't! No. If we go into the tavern right now, we'll only cause trouble for everyone. They can't... they can't have gone far! Oh, no, you don't! Ow, that hurt! We lost them. Phew. Thank goodness. This Lisa was a curious young woman indeed. With each passing moment, Zale felt ever more enchanted by her charming smile and innocent heart. I can't believe it. Is this really your first time out here in the city? Yes. That's why I'm having so much fun. Well, as long as you're happy. By the way, Zale, what do you do for a living? Me? Uh, uh, if I tell her I'm a mercenary, it'll just scare her off. Actually, don't tell me. 
I'll guess. Hmm, I know. You're a traveling merchant. You seem like someone who's been to all kinds of different places. And how many jobs allow you whole afternoons off? W well, it's something like that. I win, but I'm kind of jealous. I'd love to be able to leave the island and visit far off places. It's not as great as you'd think. I've seen plenty of things I'd rather forget. Really? Yeah. You don't know how lucky you are living on this island. I see. I suppose you might be right. Sorry. I guess I ruined the moon. Best not hang around out here much longer. We're staying at a tavern. Why don't you come there until this blows over? It's not too far from here. Who's we? Um, just a group of people I travel with. Really? I'd love to meet them. Lead the way.